uh, Dan from the My James Rock Show. I've got Corey from uh, Trivium here, fresh off of the main stage at a uh, download. Um, it seems after watching you guys, because I, I, I did, uh, that was definitely something I had to take off this year. Um, asking whether you enjoyed yourself seems a little bit um, of a of absurd question. Of course not. <laughs> um, Terrible time. Yeah, we didn't. We were kind of bummed that we had to stop playing. Um, it was a lot of fun because we don't get to blow shit up all the time. <laughs> so we were really excited because we we knew like you know after we did our last headlining tour in the UK and every show sold out and it did so well and then we got offered you know the, the when Live Nation um, they obviously like book our tours as well yeah. like for our headlining stuff and the tour did so well and every show sold out that. You know, the last show of the tour was in London at Brixton, and uh, the main guy that books, who's now booking, like, download, was like, oh, I lo love the show. That was like, he'd never seen us before and just loved it, and uh, was like, we need to get him back to download. And then once we got started talking about that later on, and, you know, once we got offered, like, the, the slot that we did, where it was, you know, the last couple times we played download, we were headlining the second stage. Yep. Um, so to get back on the main stage after, I think the last time we did the main stage was like 2012, maybe. Yeah, um, and a, with a Metallica bit down, I believe as well. Maybe. Yeah, we were like mid, mid, mid bill. It was the day I remember it was Metallica because they had the snake pit. And we we're all like, ooh, running all over it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we were stoked that you know, kind of, you know, after the last tour did so well, we got kind of brought back up the bill, and uh, we just knew like. It's gonna be a big, big show. You know, Slipknot's playing, and uh, Behemoth. You know, it was, it was like gonna be a really cool day. Yeah. That uh, we started talking about like for the festivals, like what we want to do for production, and we just knew like, like Dallas, we just got to go all out, and just bring in all sorts of shit. Um, so it was really fun. You know, we've been since we've been over here, like doing shows. We've been just kind of every day, just making notes and just getting everything planned out to make sure all this extra stuff we're bringing in that we haven't been using on any other show was like really planned out and, and we knew the show was going to be like spot on. Um, so it's a lot of fun cause there's a bunch of stuff and we've used pyro before and CO2, but yeah, there's like a bunch of other things like these, uh, concussion bombs and, uh, sparkler sh fireworks and all this stuff. And we've never used any of that stuff. So it was like playing. You're just like, that looks pretty cool. And, uh, it was a lot of fun to kind of have like add that element to the show just because you know yesterday we played nova rock and since all our stuff that we have for like our production for the festivals and our tour bus everything was on our way to download because it was such a far drive so we played yesterday with nothing it was just really? like a drum riser wow. and a backdrop and it was fucking crazy so it's like we can do a show like very punk rock and nothing except for lights and a backdrop and have just like you know the show at nova rock was the best best show we've ever had there and then coming here we add some more shit to it but it still has the same energy and intensity and the crowd reaction is still you know really rabid that it, this ended up being like you know probably our best download that we've had so you um, guys have marked uh, your career in many ways with downloads because um yeah. I, I i gotta admit I was here as a punter in 2005 when you guys played the main stage yeah. and it was all <laughs> switched around in a different thing. And well, uh, we chatted to you guys so much over the years. We talked about the ups and downs. Obviously, I've always uh, um, loved you guys, but it feels like this time with you guys coming back at this stage and then going out, being able to see it and hearing the feedback uh, within the press area from sort of peers and other bands just going like, no, this this feels right for Trivium now. I've always said that you guys are immensely hardworking because um, you just tour and write and tour and write and have churned out the albums over time. And I, it's been great to actually go, um, not just watch you go back to the main stage, but you know, bring something that you didn't have last time, um, as you say, on the second stage or when you were last on the main stage. Yeah, we, we had kind of, uh, you know, we've been talking about it because like, we've done, this is our fourth festival so far. And over the years, like there's been certain things at certain festivals that kind of like, kind of stuck with you of just like something not going right or the time frame there might have been just like the wrong person in the band playing yeah. with us that it just didn't feel right and just certain things that you just kind of like it just didn't have the vibe or just didn't feel like it really had the impact even though you're playing in front of a lot of people it just kind of you know every band kind of has like the moment in their time where it just kind of like you're up here and then it might go down a little bit and then you kind of like you know even like maiden and priest had like down times completely um 
so you just kind of like work your way through it and kind of figure figure your shit out and you know we we kind of just kept rolling and we had you know i think the last time we played well last time we played rock and ring in germany we didn't even get to play because of the weather we got canceled so we just waited around on day for nothing and then the time before that we played the weather was so bad it was so foggy we were on the stage you couldn't even see the front row really so it was like That's we just crazy. had we just had so many times at certain festivals we just had like kind of like shit luck or well i remember something stock over here as well when you guys headlined uh, yeah i got like electrocuted during like the second song however when you were <laughs> playing your screaming was amazing because i think you got a lot of the anger out um at that point because uh, yeah the, the yeah, guitar was, went on you i, I believe or something yeah like there was just like a couple I, I got screwed on that one um <laughs> but yeah that was that was still a, a cool show um but now it's like you know with getting our drummer situation solidified and him being a really amazing drummer it's really just kind of kind of the missing piece that's you know we've always been machine. I'm yeah pretty confident you guys program him uh, because <laughs> he just sits there and nails every single part of it because we've watched you sort of go with the different ones and uh he really does seem to be the one that can keep up because there was always a thing like back yeah, in the day that you guys were fast and you've never lost that yeah we've always felt like like you know matt paulo and i always felt like we've always been really tight as you know guitar players and stuff but like we just if the drums aren't you know there it really kind of just makes the whole band not sound as tight yeah so we kind of had some you know bumps in the road with just like not being able to find the right guy who could cover all the bases because some guys were really good at certain things but not the whole package that we need because we have a very variety style yeah you literally change style from album to album at points and there's just like you have to play double bass and crazy stuff but also be a really good groove drummer as well like playing simple kind of straightforward stuff so we always just kind of like that kind of always kind of i guess hamstrung us a little bit but once we got alex it's just been just kind of the trajectory has just been going back up with the last record and then people coming out to see us live and you know a lot of people saying it's like the best show they've seen us play for sure for and sure. we've never done these festivals with alex so like going out and like it's kind of like our redemption run because oh as i said with rock and ring and having so many bad lucks with that we finally got to play and it was amazing best best time best show we've had there nova rock as well and even at download so it's, it's kind of it's been a lot of fun to kind of go out there and kind of reintroduce our band to everybody and show them like the best version that they probably have ever seen well it's going to be one of those ones that people have picked up on you guys over the ages heard the name and the thing i've always uh, said to people about coming to see you guys is you don't know what you're going to get you're not going to get 90 minutes of the same sounding uh, sort of tracks off a back catalog you you guys have got the ability to go into the more thrashy routes so uh, you've got um, ascendancy which uh, clearly today was uh, uh, getting everybody to um, scream uh, like quite loudly, which I may have been one of them. <laughs> um, but no, it's, you guys have got such an exciting back catalogue for um, you know what metal is and heavy music is these days. I've, in fact, what you said earlier about Iron Maiden is I've often referenced that for as a, you guys are one of the ones which I I do think are our legacy sort of soon to be headliners um, of something like the main stage because I mean look at your reaction in Europe where you've got people singing along to guitar lines these days I mean that's awesome yeah um, it's uh, we've we, you know we've always wanted to do that was you know we've always you know growing up listening to like Maiden Metallica and all those bands and you watch like the live videos and they're playing like a crazy sold out stadium or arena that was always like our goal from the beginning was we want to be in like an arena band headlining festivals but you know I think you know after all these years and being able to be you know as a band you know we've had conversations and being self-reflective of like you know records we put out or our decisions we've made that you know even like f- three four five years ago like if we were given the chance to headline a festival i don't think we would have been ready for it okay that's, and uh, that's pretty fair on yourself. it's like it's like i don't think we were in the right spot or earned it yet and now it's like with the last record and just like the way we've been performing and putting on shows it's like i think now in the next couple of years it's like i think we've kind of gotten to a place where we're in the right headspace and the way the band operates and the way we play together as a group and playing tight and putting on a, an energetic very crowd oriented performance i think yep. now is the time that if we were given the opportunity to headline a show and we've actually done a couple we had like, headline summer breeze and you know some other stuff so i think it's like now it's like we could actually handle the responsibility of being a band that could 
you know, top the bill and put on a big show. And today was kind of like, in in a, in a way, was kind of like our way to kind of with bringing in all this the stuff to add to the show is kind of like a little glimpse of like, hey, you know, we can you know command a crowd of you know seventy thousand people and get everyone excited and into the show. Hell yeah! That uh, I think now it's you know I think we're actually in the the place in our career where it would would make sense you know we wouldn't be like you know crumble at the the pressure of 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 doing it or having you know someone getting you know nervous or or kind of like not stepping up to the plate so i think it's uh those goals that we always had i think it's now we've kind of like grown into the shoes of being the band that could actually one day you know when the the maidens and all those bands kind of like you know hang it up or whatever and you need that next next group of bands i think we've kind of you know did the you know gone through the experiences and the up and downs that it's like we're kind of in the the, the place now that we're really see it as like something as realistic in the near future yeah. so um yeah so it's like you know a lot of bands just don't i guess self-reflect on themselves and they just you know kind of kind of fall apart but we kind of use it as motivation to kind of you know really jump start kind of like a, a second resurgence of our band i think it's working like you guys like i say um are uh, killing it and i i think we might be getting uh, the, the pr coming in uh, i've no. seen him drift <laughs> past the window i did that before on the other interview <laughs> <laughs> they, they, um, always, they always do that because they're always like think no one wants to like do an interview or something so they try to cut it short or whatever but um maybe <laughs> maybe they just want to get out and watch Slipknot. i'm not sure uh we're getting nods on that all right well i'm honestly i'm going to wrap it up here and just hope that the next time we see you, you've managed to go maybe a main support to somebody because i think that'd uh, be the the next one maybe a couple of years time because it'd be weird doing it the next year but um yeah we'll be uh well after this we're kind of done for this record and uh no shows for the rest of the year but uh writing time yeah we, we're always always writing stuff but uh that's after this it's kind of our next shifting gears towards focusing on the next record so there's definitely a lot of stuff that'll be you know next early next year there'll be a lot of uh new trivium news kind of coming out so okay cool so to next year's kind of like you know when people can get start getting excited with new tours, new music and everything like that. So fantastic. But uh, well, it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, we're aiming to, you know, top, top sit in the sentence. So we're that, be, that's, that's giving yourself a challenge. If you don't mind me saying, cause that album is awesome. Um, well, we just went in there and just, you know, just go into a, our rehearsal spot at the four of us in the band and just start jamming. And that's what came out. So, you know, now that we've had experience writing and jamming so much with Alex, it's just the the process it just gets even easier. Yeah. So I think that it, we're going to have to wrap that one up. I could talk for hours, and uh, well, doors opening. So uh, thank you very much. Awesome. No problem. A couple of minutes. No um, problem. It's been thank absolutely you. awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for watching my interview with Corey from Trivium. Uh, I think we could actually talk for a lot longer. Um, so if we get a chance to do that, you should hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell to see everything we do. Cheers. Welcome to the My James Rock Show.